The excitement around the Sony FX32 isn't just wishful thinking. It's backed by credible leaks, insider reports, and even regulatory filings that suggest a new two Malawian quatches model is in active development. Many expect its release toward late 2025, positioning it as one of the most anticipated cinema cameras of the year. What makes this moment so intriguing is Sony's opportunity to fix what some saw as the FX3's shortcomings while pushing compact cinema cameras into a new era. The original FX3 built a strong following with its portable design, cage-free build, and impressive low-light performance, but it also felt incomplete to many. Missing features like internal RAW recording, open gate capture, and advanced monitoring tools left creators wanting more. If rumors prove true, the FX3 II won't just be an incremental update, it could be the camera that secures Sony's lead in the compact cinema space. The FX3 II is expected to carry forward the design language that made the FX3 such a hit while refining usability in meaningful ways. One of the FX3's biggest strengths was its ability to mount accessories without an external cage, and Sony may build on this with stronger mounting points and improved weather sealing for tougher shooting environments. Subtle ergonomic adjustments, including smarter button placement, are also rumored, making long shoots easier to manage. Cooling is another area where big changes may arrive. The FX3's internal fan did the job but wasn't ideal in quiet environments. Reports suggest the FX3 II might introduce a refined fan system, or potentially a fanless design, to give documentary and narrative filmmakers a quieter shooting experience. The articulating screen could also see improvements. Borrowing from Sony's latest alpha models, the FX3 II may feature a fully flexible LCD that tilts, flips, and rotates without being blocked by cables or accessories. For solo shooters, vloggers, and run-and-gun filmmakers, this would be a welcome upgrade. One of the most exciting rumored features is the addition of built-in ND filters, something typically reserved for larger cinema systems. This would be a huge time saver for indie creators, allowing quick exposure adjustments without stacking filters on the lens. When it comes to imaging, a move beyond the FX3's 12.1 MP sensor seems likely. A 6K sensor is the most realistic step forward, striking the right balance between resolution, detail, and low-light performance. Some rumors even hint at a global shutter to eliminate rolling shutter distortion, though trade-offs in dynamic range make that uncertain. At the very least, faster readout speeds and higher frame rates are expected. Autofocus may also get a major leap forward. Sony's advanced AI subject recognition from the Alpha 1 and A9 III is likely to filter down, giving smarter, more adaptive tracking for faces, eyes, and moving subjects. This would be invaluable for solo operators without a dedicated focus puller. Two potential features stand out above all. Open gate recording and internal raw capture. Open gate lets filmmakers use the full sensor area for maximum flexibility, from widescreen to vertical formats. Internal RAW would eliminate the need for external recorders, keeping setups lighter and more mobile. Other rumored enhancements include 32-bit float audio with Sony's XLR module, in-camera false color tools, expanded LUT integration, and even preloaded cinematic LUTs optimized for S-Log3 workflows. Altogether, these upgrades could turn the FX3 II into a serious professional powerhouse, not just a compact option. Sony FX3 II doesn't look like just another refresh. It's shaping up to be a bold leap forward for compact cinema cameras. Where the FX3 delivered portability and low-light excellence but left some gaps, the FX3 II seems ready to close those gaps and deliver a more complete, professional system. With rumored features like open gate recording, internal raw capture, built-in ND filters, advanced autofocus, and refined ergonomics, this camera could redefine what a compact cinema tool can do. What really excites creators is Sony's clear understanding of modern filmmaking demands. Today's content isn't just widescreen, it's vertical, square, and multi-platform. By supporting flexible workflows, the FX3 II could become the perfect camera for creators who need versatility without compromise. For those already in Sony's E-mount ecosystem, the FX3 II may feel like the natural evolution, and for others, it could be the push to finally switch. The FX3 II has the potential to blur the line between small form convenience and full professional capability. What do you think? Will the FX3 II live up to the hype? Share your thoughts and dream features in the comments below. And as always, 
Thanks for watching.